Episode 7 showed more about Uni and the predictions we did in our previous videos were true. Initially, after the first appearance of Uni, we guessed Uni may transform into the slug whose power it absorbed when it turns to a velocity form. And we get to see Uni taking forms of Infernus in Episode 6, Sagerling and Armstrong in Episode 7 as velocity form. Then, after Episode 6, we made this prediction that as there are no more slugs left for uni to absorb energy, it may use powers of other slugs one at a time, which exactly happened. The people who have been watching my videos from beginning, yes guys, we are right. Thanks to everyone who commented your views. So, here are the new things we get to know about uni after episode 7. So, once fully charged, uni can transform into one of the slugs it absorbed energy from and can perform the best moves. You can see the symbol of the slug, it's going to transform before we shoot it. It has this electric symbol before it gets transformed into its laser link and it has this rock symbol before it transforms into a ramstone. So now we have three new questions. There are many slugs with same powers like both Infernus and Klaringo can use firepower. Will there be two different symbols for both? I guess instead of showing different symbols for each slug, it may be one symbol for one type of power. The other question we all have is why didn't you need turn into a ghoul from episode 4 earlier. Can it turn into a ghoul now? I think it can turn into a ghoul now. But earlier, the amount of energy absorbed wasn't sufficient. Final question, can Uni choose the slug power? I feel yes, Uni can pick the power which it feels better for the situation. Because when Trixie said Uni can't pick power of its choice, Uni gave a look like why can't I do that and gave the ramshun power which was perfect for the situation. Is it me just overanalyzing or do you also feel the same? Let me know your thoughts about this. See you all in the comment section.